Hi, Tefl Dude here, and today I'm going to show you how to check the health of your hard drive. Why do you need to do this? Well, if you have a laptop older than five years, and a lot of people I know have a laptop older than 10 years, and you have never checked your hard drive's health, you may be in danger of losing all of your data. Here you can see on the left hand side that the hard drives tend to last four to seven years. Even if you have an SSD drive, it will last five to 10 years. Basically, they'll last about five years. So what we need to do here, we're going to check the health of the hard drives. Then I'm gonna show you which caddy is the best to get to put your old hard drive in so you can use it as a data storage disk. Finally, I'm going to show you how to fix the health of a hard drive if you desperately, desperately, desperately need to save it. So without further ado, let's go and check the health of your hard drive. So here we are, and this is the crystal disk information that we're going to download first. And you can see I've checked my hard drive and it looks good. This other part is for the speed test. And that also is a free software. This final software, Sentinel, is free for a trial. But the reason we're using it is it gives you extra information about the longevity of your hard drive. And if you pay, it will even let you fix some of the hard drive sectors. So the first thing we need to do is download them. So let's go to the download area. And I've already got it up here. Simply download the standard edition Crystal Disk. Click the Installer Vista. And it will soon, it says here, your download will start shortly. So that's going to happen now. And there on the top right, you can see it's downloaded it. I downloaded it before. And the same goes for the second part, the crystal disk. Simply click the installer, Vista, and it says here it will download shortly. As you can see, they're both downloaded. Finally, you've got the Sentinel, and you simply click this trial version here. As you can see, many of them I've already checked and they're quite good. But these smaller drives, 2.5 drives I've had, they have given me a warning and this one is even bad. And I'm gonna show you at the end how to fix these sectors using the Sentinel software. So first of all, let's check our hard drives. So on my desktop, you'll see this icon so I'm going to double click that from my desktop and there you can see these are my hard drive that's my main hard drive that's a separate SSD drive I've got in the computer but this is one of these smaller hard drives I've got connected and you can see it gives me a caution it says be careful it's not that good and you can do that with all of the hard drives, just unplug and plug them in. Should you happen to have one of these older 3.5 hard drives, you can actually buy these housings for them, uh, but they do require power. Now regarding the hard drive Sentinel, if I double click that, you can see that the Sentinel gives me a lot more information on those hard drives. The first one, it says I've only got 890 days, but that's still about three years. However, the others have more than a thousand days, even the one that has the bad sector. On here, it looks good, but if I click Smart, you can see that yellow bad sector, and this is the machine that can fix it. And we're going to look at how it fixed it later. First of all, let me show you some of the housings that you can buy for your 3.5 drive. Here you have the housings. 
Now the older housing, I have a very old one, it's a USB 2, and you can see that the write speed is only 37 megabytes, quite slow. But if you get this other connector with USB 2, you still double it to 60. And if you get the USB 3 with the same connector, it can go to 81. However, if you buy one of these ones, which I have here, and it has a 3.1 USB to 3.1 USB, and you have the same USB on your laptop, you can reach speeds of 95 megabytes a second. That's good. Don't forget though, if you really want to go mad, you can get the SSD and that has transfer speeds four times the other normal hard drives. So bear that in mind when you're choosing a housing and an SSD. Now in order to check the speed of your hard drive, depending which caddy you have, what you need to do is click on the crystal disk icon. And here you can see that you can choose which hard drive it checks. So I'm going to check this is my main hard drive. Now this is an M.2. This is a normal SSD and this is the bad hard drive I've got. So let's check on the bad hard drive I've got. And all I want you to do is click the first square. You don't, don't click all, just click the first one and wait, because that's the only information we need. All the other bars tend to be around the same kind of speed. So there's the write speed. Now it took quite a while, so don't worry, I did cut the video so that you could see it earlier. But let's check this SSD drive that I've got. This is a normal SSD drive, Kingston one. And I'm just gonna click the first one again. And there you can see the write speed is 12 times that of a normal HD drive. So, if you think that's fast, look at my C drive, which is an M.2 drive. So my M.2 drive doesn't do 500 megabytes a second, it does 3000 megabytes a second. If you can get an M.2 drive in your laptop, wow, it is amazing. So let's go back to fixing those hard drives. Okay, here is the Sentinel program. And as before, we mentioned, this is the excellent drive, but there's a bad sector on Smart. All you have to do is right click here and click Decimal Data Fields. You'll see it says one. All I have to do is double click that and say, do minus one. And you can see now that sector has been cured and it's leveled it out and it should work. Now what I want to do is remember that bad sector which was red and it had no days. I'll just show you. So this is the one that had the bad sector and here it says no days. I'm going to see if I can cure that. Okay, so I've plugged it in now. And here you can see there is that negative health warning it says it's got no days so now i'm going to try and fix it the same way i did the other one here remember we have to right click decimal data fields if you don't have that you have to right click and click it first of all i'm going to cure this one i'm going to put in minus four okay now i'm going to try and fix this x I need minus 1,020. Now it is on zero, but it hasn't really fixed it. So obviously, thankfully I got a warning that this disc was too, too poor to be fixed. There's nothing I can do about it. We didn't get to fix it, but remember we are able to fix the other ones like this one, which had a bad sector and this one. 
So if I put the other one in again, okay, so now here is the second yellow one, and this had a count of eight. So I'm going to go minus eight. And you can see it's tried to cure it, make it better. And now if we go to the overview, it says excellent, more than a thousand days. I've kind of cured the hard drives. So using Sentinel, you can kind of cure it. But to be honest with you, I would always rather get a new hard drive if it's in the yellow. So once again, using this crystal disc, it shows me that I have to be careful. So I may have a short while with it, but buy yourself a new hard drive. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. Hope in some way you are able to check your hard drive and either buy a new one, make sure it's SSD the best, and buy one of these housings in order to use your old hard drive as a data carrier. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a like, and I'll see you on the next video. He is the 10th 